This is Fire Emblem. Dark. The rules are simple. 1. As you can see, no terrain background. Ever. Number 2. No pre-combat window. Number 3. No unit status display, so you can't see your unit or your enemy's HP. Number 4. No looking at unit or enemy stats. I suppose you're probably wondering... <laughs> who, play, who plays Fire Emblem this way? Uh, yeah. That. Well, Mangs, I do. I play Fire Emblem like this. Or at least, I do now? Welcome to the journey, my name is Linking7, and this is a never done before Fire Emblem Let's Play. Alright everyone, so here goes the journey. I don't know what's going to happen, but we are going into difficult mode, and here we go. So we're going to skip all the story, because this is just a challenge Let's Play. And... BOOM! Who turned off the lights? Alright, we got the rapier. Got a bunch of bandits, and this is chapter one. Grotto's men. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to go to the options. We're going to keep animations off. Terrain is going off. Unit is going off. Combat off. Show objective off. Everything is going... No, we're keeping the sound effects and the music on. And let's do a nice green window color here. So now we can't see any of the HP on the enemies. And the most oppressive thing is we can't see the terrain, although we can kind of see it with the movement. And the worst thing is... No combat window. Obviously we can still see enemy ranges. I didn't... I wasn't gonna turn off the enemies. Like, one of the options is to do this. And that's just stupid, because now I can't see my units or the enemies. So, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep... We're gonna let the enemies stay on screen. Alright. Um, let's start training Erica, I guess. So the nice thing about this is we're not going to be able to see any- uh oh. I hope this isn't going to be a restart already, That's that would be hilarious if that actually happened. If the next enemy actually hits. Oh, the screen flashes afterwards, okay. Um, that's kind of not a good thing, I guess, but... Yeah, it's not it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna try our best. At least we're not gonna be able to see any of the terrain or whatever. No one's gonna memorize the entire screen from the flash. Uh, obviously, we can check stats and inventory like this. I'm going to try actually avoiding that as much as possible because it's not necessary. We'll just have to memorize our HP rates. Uh, let's trade the steel sword. Oh, we can't use that. Okay. For some reason I remember Seth starting with an iron sword, but I guess that was Marcus from FE7. So there we go, we got Erica a couple kills, let's try and get her the boss kill as well. It's going to be important to feed our units some kills during this. All that's left is the leader. Yeah, Seth, you say that like it's so easy. And here we go, he's moving towards us. I think it's better to heal, just to make sure we're on the safe side. We don't want to start restarting in the prologue. I think that would be pretty bad to happen. You will be the first to die. No, my friend, you will be the first to die. And Erica does not double this guy, so we're not actually going to engage. Although, I, in, in theory, we could have, but I've already started this commentary, and I don't really want to restart, so... Anyways, first level up for Erica coming. I suppose I should say another rule for this Let's Play is there are going to be absolutely no save states. Um, well, let's finish out the chapter first and then we'll discuss rules. And see what this juicy level up has in store for us. 
And of course, she gets resistance. That's interesting, but nah, no strength. All right, on to the next one. That took four minutes. That was great. Chapter one, escape. Cool. Okay, so we've got more axe users, some lance users, which is not good news for Erica, but we're going to try and give her some experience, so we're going to do that. And let's skip all this. So yeah, I suppose, let's, let's talk, uh, she keeps getting hit by all these 40%, so that's not, not a good start uh, at all for us, but... Oh, I love the recruitment theme. I don't know how you guys feel about the recruitment theme, but this is legitimately one of the best, one of the most epic recruitment themes in the game. Alright, let's see. Let's have Gilliam start out with some combat against these guys. These guys are pathetic. He can take them down, even on hard mode. Should be no problem. And then we'll bring in Franz. So yeah, one of the rules in this is I think I will be allowed to use the arena. Just because this is fun. I'm not going to arena abuse, per se, but we will be allowed to use the arena. We will not be allowed to use the Tower of Valny or the Lagdo Ruins until absolute post-game. Let's get Erica another kill and a level up. Oh, nice, we got a strength level. Okay, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So yeah, this is going to be a running Let's Play, a weekly Let's Play. And we're going to see how far we can get. I, I envision some of the chapters later on down the line are going to be quite difficult. Although Sacred Zones in itself is not a very difficult game. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how much trouble I actually have. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are going to like this, but I'm going to do it anyways because I think it's an interesting challenge. Uh... And there's no reason not to do it. I don't know if I'm going to bring any co-commentators with me either. So if there's anyone you want to see in particular, or if anyone who's watching this wants to jump on as a co-commentator, feel free to reach out and let me know. It's definitely an interesting premise. I don't think this has been done before. I could be wrong. So if I'm wrong, also let me know about that. This is so bizarre. I don't think I've ever played Fire Emblem this way. I don't know if anyone ever has. Maybe we'll put auto end turn on again after this. Okay, Gilliam's taking a beating. That is not ideal. It's a good thing none of those, none of these guys double him. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble. Let's get Fran some experience. I never really used Fran's much in my Sacred Stones playthroughs, just because Seth is like insanely powerful, but maybe in this playthrough we'll use him. He got a strength level up to start off, so I guess he's trying to give us some uh, some signals here. Let's have Gilliam weaken this guy again. He can take a hit still, and then we'll bring in Erica. We'll have her take Franz's Iron Sword. I don't think the talk thing does anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It? I don't think it does. Okay, cool. That's some good stuff. Chapter 1 looks like it's going down relatively simply. Oh, look at those OP armor dodges. OP armor dodges. Maybe we'll give Gilliam this kill. He deserves one. Oh, I forgot there's reinforcements that come on... Uh, on Erica's... in hard mode. I think... I don't know if these guys were in normal mode or not. Chapter 1 reinforcements. Is that like the earliest time we ever see reinforcements in a Fire Emblem game? I gotta wonder. Come on, come on. Oh, speed! All right. Gilliam shaping up to be good. I quite like using armored units in Fire Emblem. Well, I know a lot of people don't. Uh, did Franz get hit? I can't remember if Franz got hit. This is not good. See, this is the part about this where it's difficult because you're like, did they get hit? Did they not get hit? Like, do I use Seth here? What am I supposed to do? Uh, I guess we'll wait a turn and see. Let them move up. I hate that after they end, the screen flickers. That's kind of annoying. Oh, he doesn't have the Iron Sword anymore. Oh. Okay, he didn't get hit. I 
I guess I should have tested that before I started the Let's Play. Whether or not it flickers. It doesn't flicker when you kill someone, which is a good thing, I suppose. Alright, let's have Seth kill someone, because it's getting a little bit dangerous here. And Seth is a good unit, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually rely on Seth. We're gonna try and have him not steal too much XP at the start. And we're just gonna wait with Erica over here. No need to overdo it. I know for sure at one point I'm gonna- Ooh! Critical hits! Erica going absolutely nuts this chapter. Alright. Now let's deal with this boss over here. This is definitely gonna get harder along the way, so... And the, one of the most difficult things is going to be how we initiate against bosses. Most of it's gonna be testing the waters, ending turn, that sort of stuff. Otherwise, I don't know, like, sometimes I guess I'll take a risk if I know I can, or if there's like a rescue drop scenario. Okay, three times, I'm assuming that's times two. That is not good, we need to speed that up. I wonder if Erica can go in with the rapier. Let's give it a shot, and we'll... Okay, let's do this talk. The, the, the talks do nothing in this chapter. Let's go in with the rapier. See what happens. Oh, she might straight up kill him. Oh, good girl, Erica. I wanted to kill him with Franz, but... I guess Erica had some other plans, so we got another level up for Erica. She's, uh... Growing pretty quick. And... Just skill. I guess she did just gain strength, so... To be expected. To be expected. And we're gonna seize. Oh, even the map! Even the map doesn't have the terrain in the background! <laughs> Alright, we're skipping all this. Got some money! So I was thinking in terms of a re release schedule for this Let's Play that we might do one a week. Depending on how quickly I can record these episodes and how frequently I can do it, we might do two a week. So we'll see what happens. The Protected. I think this is the one where we get the- yeah. We get Mulder and Vanessa- oh boy. Uh, I think- yeah. oh, whoops, we're not supposed to check enemies, but we can check. So these are Ross and Garcia. I completely forget their actual, like, recruitment. Um... Okay, this one is gonna be a little bit tricky. Well, unless we just, you know... Blitz through using Seth. Which we totally can. I think Garcia can hold his own up there. There, I think, was a village up here? Yeah. There's one here and... There's definitely one here. What's this? Oh, that's... Selena! Oh, well. We just got a cheat there and we found another village, but... Yeah, I think Garcia can definitely handle this guy for a little bit. We'll try and we'll try and rescue him. Oh, never mind, he doesn't need rescuing. Okay. Let's get Ross over here and let's grab Garcia. I think Erica yeah, Erica can talk here. Let's have Mulder visit the other village. And get that juicy elixir. And I don't know how useful Gilliam is going to be in a chapter full of axe users, but we shall see. Is he in range? He's not in range. Let's have Seth murder this guy. Bring oh, we could have brought Ross down in theory. We should, we should definitely train Ross. Ross is like one of the most useful characters in this game. Also, let me know if you want animations on. Sometimes I feel like animations are a little bit too much. Ah, uh, reinforcements. I 
Alright, friends, take back your iron sword. And let's have Franz deal. I think Franz will be fine against the reinforcements. Him and Ross can, can tag team it. How far does this guy go? So let's drop Garcia over here. Take Vanessa back up. Oh, wait, who talks with Garcia? Was it- oh, maybe it's Ross. Okay, never mind. Let's- aw, oh, crap. Uh, I keep screwing up. Okay. Now we've got a billion people rescued. Next turn, next turn, it's fine. Uh, let's bring Mulder down. We haven't had to heal anyone yet, but we probably will need to- No, I don't want to suspend. Stop. Eric again hit by all those 42s. I think there's a shop in this chapter that lets us buy another sword, so that should be no problem. Or maybe there isn't, I don't know. I don't even see one, even with the flickering. Okay, we need to drop Ross. And let's attack with the iron sword here. France doesn't double yet, which is not fun. Oh, we are in range of this archer. Let's finish this guy off with the rapier. We definitely need to heal Erica. So we will... Oh, these guys can hit Vanessa, which is not good. Vanessa can take Garcia and chill up here for a little bit, and Seth can come in and close the gap. Excellent. And now we'll bring Mulder down to... let me turn off Mulder's animations. Uh, yeah, let's do solo. Just because healer animations take forever. Oh no, they're going for the village! We need to save the villages! I probably should have gone down there with Vanessa or something. I really don't remember what was in that village, but if we really wanted to, we could probably just rush it with Seth and stall out this bow guy forever, indefinitely. Yeah, so we could just bring Seth down here and rush it. Well, let's get rid of this guy first. Maybe give, give Ross some experience points. And baby's first kill. Oh, he has 5 HP. I forgot about that. That's a whoopsie. But he gets a ton of experience points from kills. And we're still carrying Garcia, which is annoying. We'll... Uh, I don't know where the, the village is up here. There's definitely one. My phone's ringing, which is not good. No, stop! Okay, sorry about that. Alright, where were we? Yeah, having trouble over here. Let's, um... Do this. And... I don't know, we'll do... How far can this guy go? Let's do that. Let's drop Garcia over here. And fly up there and see if we can find the village. And let's heal Garcia, because why not?
Oh, he still went for Franz instead of Gilliam. I guess that's because he does more damage. Franz gets a kill, that's great. That level is not great. Incoming luck is best stat. And Seth is absolutely going to murder these people. Yeah, so far this has not been too bad, but I think it will get much worse eventually. Wait, who are you? Yeah, the people who are going to absolutely destroy you. Uh, we should have left Erica to kill him. Now Seth's going to steal all the XP. No! I guess we got to sacrifice this if we want to get the village. That's fine. Alright, while we get these villages up here, I don't know where it is. This is the annoying thing about... Okay, so this is a gate to a village here. It should be up here somewhere. Oh, we're gonna be going through every tile up here to try and figure this out. Uh, okay, I give up. Screw the village. Let's trap this archer here. And, uh, we need to work down towards the village at the bottom, because we know where that one is, specifically. Oh no, Garcia, do not kill this guy! Okay, I caught a glimpse of the village. It looks like it's destroyed up here, so I guess there is no village to visit up there. Which is fine. Ross, go talk to your dad and tell him to, to lay off. Alright. Cool. So, I guess we want to give this kill to Ross while we get the village down there, so we shall wait a little bit. Or we can run down with friends. That's a good idea. We'll see whoever gets there first. Oh, nice. First try. Pure water. Was that worth it? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. Oh, he barely does any damage. Okay. Was there not an armory here somewhere? I could have sworn there was. I guess maybe there isn't. If Garcia has an Iron Axe, we will definitely be giving that to Ross. Okay, we're getting some atrocious level ups here to start. Garcia does have an Iron Axe. Let's trade all of Garcia's weapons to Ross for now. Let's see, oh god, that hit rate is atrocious. This this kid is standing on. Alright, come on. He's standing on a forest tile, that's why the hit rate's really bad. Oh, we're gonna be here forever! Come on, third time's the charm. Okay. Alright, chapter 2 down. Not too bad, not too bad.